Fire and Emergency has failed to improve its workplace culture after a report in 2019 found serious issues with bullying and harassment. An independent review by the Deputy Public Service Commissioner has revealed that key problems were identified three years ago and they have not been addressed. The complaints process is deepening the trauma of those being bullied and harassed and a complete overhaul of the organisation's attitudes and behaviour is urgently needed. It's made 20 recommendations and as Alexa Cook reports, Fire and Emergency is vowing to act on all of them. After 22 years in the fire service, Judith Stanley describes the culture as an old boys club. Some women are not safe in their brigades, that's what I know, and some women have had to leave their brigades because they felt unsafe. As the first female voted onto the United Fire Brigade Association board, she says she's had her own experiences of bullying. I was silenced, my concerns were ignored. Intimidation is the norm. A 2019 report raised similar concerns, revealing a culture of bullying and harassment with unacceptable levels of racism, sexism and homophobia. And a review of the fire and emergency's response to that report has found the organisation has failed to improve its culture. Poor behaviours remain that are both causing harm to people and tarnishing fire and emergency's reputation. And the complaints process is not fit for purpose. It is in fact deepening the trauma that's experienced by victims of bullying and harassment. Absolutely acknowledge that it's been a really challenging time for them. Do what, you uh, absolutely. The report's 20 recommendations include an independent advisory committee to fix the organisation's culture, a standalone code of conduct, and a new independent body for all complaints. We needed to change. That's why I asked for this review when I started as chair of the board. Change is needed urgently and we will do that. The board chair standing there and saying that this changes from today, I have good confidence in this. Firefighters hoping they can soon share her confidence. Kia ora Alexa, so when are we going to start seeing changes at fire and emergency? Well, Mike, uh, pretty quickly, actually, because today there's already been a big shake-up of the board. There's been two resignations and two new women appointed to the board, including Belinda Clark, who actually led that review. Now, fans, they say that they, they're promising to act urgently on these changes and that they're going to act as quickly as possible on all those recommendations. But they're also warning that big changes won't happen overnight. But firefighters that I spoke to, they want to see those big changes, and they actually told told me that the experiences that they had with fiends and those behavioural sort of problems they came up against, they said they were actually pretty quick, pretty easy kind of fixes. And they told me that until they are fixed, they don't have any faith that the workplace culture will actually improve. Alexa, Nam